Last time I saw Kai Miller, he was just off to get the sleeper, because he likes to get the sleeper train from London to Scotland. And when I read Kai Miller's poems, it's like being on the sleeper, because on the sleeper, you can never sleep, because of the rhythms, because of the things you open the window and you see that you half see these things out the window, because as you're on the sleeper, you're always aware that you're on some kind of great traditional train, that thousands of people have gone on this sleeper, that it's sort of romantic on the sleeper. So his poems are like that. They, there's a rhythm in them that is never overbearing. There are glimpses out of their windows of landscapes that you're not familiar with, and he makes them, in one sense, less familiar and more familiar at the same time because he illuminates them for you. And when you're reading them, you get a great sense of movement and history, just like you do when you're on the sleeper train, because he's talking about movements of people, his own particular movement from across the water to here and back, and how, he's, how the languages mix together. That's the other thing you get on the sleeper train, all these languages. And he, he just, this poem here for Cornelius Eady. Here it is now, the moment I carry your book to a cafe. Here is the woman who stares at the cover and asks, if I am you, I should be hurt. At this moment, I'm 25, you are already 50, but what I feel is wonderful. That's done in short lines. Short lines, maybe you take a breath at the end of each line, but it's about age, it's about respecting an older person. It's about the way that in the end, the older Kai Miller is waiting for us in the young Kai Miller, that somehow you know that these poems are gonna last for a long time and he, he seems, it's an odd thing to say, but he seems cleverer than his years. You know, he's not a, he's a young man who's, who's got fantastic knowledge of poetry and of life. And I always like to imagine him on that sleeper train, taking notes, you know, as the train goes north. And, and just as he does in, in life, it seems to me that he's always taking notes, always noticing. And as with all our poets, the great thing about all our poets is that we come back and I sit in this chair in 10 years and we're going to have read more books by him. And Kai Miller is, in particular, like all of them, is going to just create fantastic work in the next few years.